up guys, Just Prince TV here. Wanna to talk to you about the Woo Tang Woo Tang. They did their thing yesterday, a versus battle between Ghostface Killer and Wei Kron. Now, I'm going to post up that whole versus battle on my channel, alright? So it'll be up today in a matter of, you know, an hour or two, hopefully, you know, depending on um YouTube's loading time. But I wanna talk about the versus battle itself. My reaction, who I think won, and you know, all the good feelings that I got when I was watching this versus battle. This really took me back, man. This took me back to the 90s. It was very good reminiscing when I was listening to this Wu-Tang. Now, Ghostface Killer and Raekwon are two of the best lyricists in hip hop history, okay? They're up there, the top 10, you know, somewhere between top 10 in, in between there. And they're a group within a group. Raekwon and Ghostface is like a separate group out of Wu-Tang for me because you put those two guys together, they become one of the best duos in hip-hop history for me. And um, the slang, the creativity that these guys have, the classic bangers, you know, the classic Wu-Tang bangers, you know, it's incredible. Now, let me tell you what I thought of the verse battle itself. Now, Raekwon is less commercialized than Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer is a little more commercialized. So I thought this battle was a little lopsided, okay? Uh, being the fact that I thought this battle was a little lopsided because when you do a verse battle, the commercial guy um, is going to tend to have more bangers, you know, more songs that people could um, relate to because he's more commercialized. So I think that's an unfair advantage that a commercialized artist has. And that would be Ghostface Killer. Now, Raekwon has a lot of underground street bangers, but the problem is when you do a verse battle, you don't know what street banger to put in there that people are going to cater to to say they really like, you know, because it, it varies at that point. It becomes super objective, you know, and I thought Raekwon could have used a couple more songs. That My nigga. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed that he didn't use because I know Raekwon got a lot in his bag. Um, he could have used Faster Blade. Oh, I would have loved for him to use that. I was waiting for him to use Faster Blade, but he didn't use it, you know? Man, the beat, the lyrics, it was just street hip-hop, and I thought he could have used that. Um, he also didn't use a lot of songs off the Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang album, and he was heavy on that. I thought he could have used a lot of those. He could have used the song that he made with Rick Ross, you know, the, um, the I forgot how it goes. The um, Man, it had to come back to me. You know, um, but he made a song with, um, oh, um, I think it's Black Mimosas, something like that, you know. But that song that he made, you could correct me if I'm wrong. I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of the song off the top of my head. But he made a song with Rick Ross I thought was a banger. He could have used that. He could have used Faster Blade. He could have used a lot of street hip-hop songs. Because Ghostface Killer went into his bag and went a little more commercialized. You know, and then I thought that was a little bit like, okay, that's a little bit unfair, you know, because Raekwon don't got that much commercialized here, but he got underground street classics. And Raekwon did went in his bag with the incarcerated scar faces, you know, Ghostface Killer hit him with the Daytona 500. He hit him with the, um, uh, what you call it, some of them classic joints, Never See You Again, you know, Ghostface Killer got some bangers too, man, and off the Supreme Clientele album, and he hit the, some classic joints off. You know the album that Ghostface Killer made with um, taking 70s beats and turning it into hip-hop? That was great. He used some of that format in there. Then he came out with the scratch coat. I don't want to ruin too much spoilers for you guys because I'm posting it up. All right? But who did I think won the battle? I think um, by like a song or two, Ghostface Killer won. You know, but... At the end of the day, Raekwon won too because he was on them same songs with Ghostface Killer. And some of them, some verses Ghostface Killer had over Ray, some verses Ray had over Ghostface. And it was just a per celebration of per hip hop, okay? This is the essence of real, street, authentic, lyrical hip hop. And I was glad to see that took place, you know? And he did the song, Raekwon, um, Rich, Black with Nas. Oh my God. He did uh, verbal intercourse with the one he did with Nas. So Raekwon went into his street classics. So if you go into street bangers, uh, Raekwon got it. You know, it, to me, it's like a draw then, you know, but I'm going to just give the slight edge to Ghostface, but 
it's kind of a draw for me because the street bangers went to Raekwon, the commercialized hits went to Ghostface Killer. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's how both of those two guys. I can't, it's hard for me to pick between those two guys because they're, yeah, they're, they're yin and yang, but they're so close together. They are the perfect duo. It's like they're looking at each other when, they, when I think of them because they both bring the same charismatic street slang. They're like twins. And it was great to see these two guys do a verse battle. Now, my next verse battle, I think they should do. They should have did a tag team duo with like Nas and AZ. Now, as much as I love Nas and I think Nas is the greatest MC of all time, I would like to see Nas do a verse battle. But for some reason, these commercialized artists like the Jay-Zs, the Nas's, uh, you know, well-known artists, they don't want to do verse battles too much. It's kind of like the all-stars than the underground artists. But let's get some of the commercialized, very famous artists to do a verse battle, like a Kanye West or a 50 Cent, somebody like that. You know, I think it'd be more fun to, to get that. I think a verse battle between 50 Cent and Game would be nice. But I'm going off topic here a little bit. What do you think of the Ghostface Killer and Raekwon showdown who won what's your reaction but for me it was a classic i loved it it's my best verse battle that i saw period prince out just prince tv don't don't forget to comment like subscribe peace